Sunheiser, Game 1 microphone, reporting for duty. Hey brother, GSP 300 okay. microphone here. Settle down you two, Mod Mic 4.0 here, I'm clearly the superior microphone with better flexibility. Whoa, what happened? Maybe, maybe he's choosing one of us? Okay, I'm back. Now with a little upgrade. The Mod Mic 5.0 is here. Find out why I'm sticking with this as my gaming setup right after this. Cooler Master Master Keys keyboard lineup is now available in three sizes to fit within your space with large, medium and small boards with either beautiful RGB or pure white LED illumination. A little something for everyone. Make it yours with the Master Keys Pro by Cooler Master. So what's up guys, I'm Dimitri with Harvard Canucks and the ModMic 5.0 is going to be replacing the 4.0 for me now and uh, I think I've completed the ultimate gaming audio setup with the HD800s and the ModMic 5.0 now so I'm getting fantastic microphone quality and uh, one of the best audio qualities in the market too. But first to recap, a mod mic is a high quality, low profile microphone solution that you can attach to your favorite pair of headphones. And this solution has been very popular among users who don't like the gaming headset direction, where let's say the microphone is non-removable or the aesthetics simply restrict the use of this pair outside of the house. And so the Mod Mic 5 sells for $69, which for a standalone mic uh, to attach to your headphones may seem steep, where you can pick up a full headset like the HyperX Cloud around that same price range and maybe a quality full package for a little bit more like the GSP 300 headset with a very good microphone. Now in comparison to a $50 Mod Mic 4.0, the price premium is actually pretty fair because you get two built-in mic capsules on the 5, unlike where you have to choose between omnidirectional or unidirectional Mod Mic 4.0. Uh, so you get this easy switch toggle on the, on the microphone capsule itself. The wires have been Kevlar reinforced, so they're stronger and more premium. The boom pole is now much stiffer and doesn't bend as easily, so you can just bend it once and it will not move from that position ever unless you uh, change it again. Plus the magnetic clasp is now, um, well, it is backwards compatible, but is now with a much stronger magnet. And that means that if you accidentally pull on that cable, the microphone will not pop out or rotate, something that happens a lot more often on the weaker magnet on a 4.0. But I have been really on the fence from switching from my trusty Game 1 headset from Sennheiser. I love this implementation. It was single one cable that runs from the headset into behind my computer so that I don't have to worry about cable management, whereas with this implementation, you know, it's not comfortable because I have to route the HD800s into the amp and then where I was using the ModMic 4.0, that was routed obviously via a separate cable into the microphone jack on my motherboard. So the cable management situation wasn't ideal, which is why I kind of, you know, let's say about 60% of the time prefer something of a gaming headset nature because I don't have to deal with cable management. And this is where the 5.0 really comes into the equation and they've improved on many any aspects, pretty much on every aspect of the microphone body and the mod in the microphone name actually makes sense now because you have everything that's modular about the microphone including the inline mute uh, controls, the cable that you can remove for a longer cable and so they've removed the common point of failure from the 4.0 which was the cable itself and they've reinforced everything about the 5.0 so that this is the strongest microphone they've ever produced. And so the cable management implementation here is pretty awesome with 10 clips included. So you can combine the little clip with a slightly uh, thicker clip on the headphone. Plus we have a two meter braided cable wrap. So you can seamlessly combine the headphone and the microphone cable into one. And uh, just keep in mind, it does add a little bit of extra weight, but the benefit of no dangling wires is a major one for this cleaner setup. In the package, we also get a prep pad to clean the surface of the headphone, plus two magnetic base claps, which I've applied to both my headphones and can interchangeably use the microphone on either of them and everything fits into this nice small carry pouch. Um, what you've been hearing so far now has been recorded with the 5.0. It's going into the Zoom H5. So this is the best representation of the quality that you will hear. Um, and while we're here, I will also switch to uh, unidirectional uh, microphone capsule because the extra price premium that you get with this. So not only do you get improved everything about the cabling situation, but you also get two microphone capsules. So you can have unidirectional, which is like a noise canceling uh, capsule or an omnidirectional, which captures everything around you. It's a slightly better quality. All right, so now we're in unidirectional mode, which means that it's not picking up anything or not as much from this side of the microphone because the capsules 
there's two capsules facing this way uh, omnidirectional captures everything here where unidirectional avoids this area of the microphone that captures everything that's just in front of your mouth it is a bit quieter so that's something to keep in mind because you might potentially have to boost it in your computer or motherboard so that the microphone isn't super quiet all right we're back to the omnidirectional so you can hear the audio levels are much louder but it's also a bit cleaner i'd say not as nasally because the omnidirectional uh, i think there's a bit of noise cancellation happening and um, i like the omnidirectional better but keep in mind it will be picking up a lot more background noise so now i'd like for you to listen to the comparison between the mod mic 5 and other headsets uh, microphones that i have in the studio i think the mod mic 5 is by far the cleanest the most natural sounding with nice pickup on the lower end as well so right now I'm in unidirectional mode, it's not picking up as much of the background noise, but it's not as clear anymore, um, the bass is kind of diminished, and um, this is the exact same sound as on the Mod Mic 4, and this is right now the uh, Mod Mic 4.0 with the unidirectional capsule applied, uh, it sounds identical to the unidirectional capsule on the Mod Mic 5 because they all use the exact the same microphone capsules, everything just on the mic on the Mod Mic 5 is just upgraded physically. So what you're listening to now is the Game 1 headset. The microphone here is very sensitive, so I, I have to actually keep my voice sort of leveled and not really speak up because it will peak. And what I'm trying to do with this microphone test is because I'm recording everything into the Zoom H5, um, I am not adjusting the gain sensitivity on the microphone, so it's all leveled equally, so you can hear on uh, the differences between how sensitive each microphone is. And by far, the least sensitive microphone here in this collection would be the GSP 300 but this one has a lot more bass it's very boomy I love this microphone the game one headset it's a $250 microphone but it sounds very comparable to the $70 or the omnidirectional capsule with just amount of detail and clarity and the, the lower end pickup on the voice is very good on this pair and this is the last microphone in this sampling collection. This is the GSP 300. It's a $100 headset, so there's a, a bit of a nice balance between microphone quality and audio quality, but still, it does not sound, uh, it doesn't even approach the levels of the omnidirectional uh, microphone clarity and pickup of the Mod Mic 5 or the Mod Mic 4.0. Uh, and so, yeah, you do pay a premium to have the option to attach a low profile microphone onto your favorite pair of headphones. And that is exactly where the Mod Mic comes into play. Oh, hey there. NCX.com is Canada's leading e-tailer for anything your mind desires. Just keep within those categories, which are plenty, and get tempted by their weekly deals. Visit NCX.com for all them sweet deals. So thank you so much for hearing and watching this video. Let me know what you think of the uh, microphone quality, much since majority of this video has been recorded with the 5.0. Um, I will still be keeping the 4.0 on this headphone because I still need uh, a microphone for this particular environment and setting, while the HD800 will be my premium, most most premium gaming setup ever. Jesus, HD800 for gaming. Most people also gonna be probably wondering why I placed a magnet on my HD800 so close to the drivers. I hope it's not an issue. Actually, if we do have any audio engineers, let me know if this is a bad idea, placing, uh, you know, a magnetized piece base clasp for the microphone. Uh, because I definitely don't want to ruin anything on this pair. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Dimitri with Howard Canucks. We'll see you in the next video.